Listen, I'm going to let you in on a little secret that's going to make you so much money. You're going to be collecting coins left and right like you Mario. So stay tuned if you want to know how to make so much money. You're going to have simoleons coming out your ears. Check the mic and make sure it sound right, boys. What's up, folks? Today, I want to share with you one really big tip that helped me rake in a ton of money in The Sims 3. This is great for like legacy players or really just anyone who wants to make the most of their Sims 3 experience. So I'm here in the beautiful world of Monte Vista with my current household family. I'll link the playlist for this household down below if you're interested in learning a bit more about them. But as you can see here, the family is swimming in money. We got about 3.7 million simoleons in the bank. I was running to the bank, King King. Giving you some insight into our finances. None of this money was gained by using cheats. I don't use cheats whenever I play The Sims. As you can see, they have about 3.7 in family funds, almost 3.7 in real estate. The family lives in like a 1.4 million simoleon house. They got these three sick custom content cars. These three cars are worth over like a million simoleons on their own. <laughs> this family's got three houses in France, they have three houses here in Monte Vista. They're swimming in it, okay? They make so much money, they don't have to work. That's just the truth. And the way this family is able to live such a nice life is because they have invested their money in properties in Monte Vista. You can do this in any town you're playing in, and investing really is the way to establish an income that will continue in perpetuity so if you invest in businesses and in properties in your town then you will continue to receive returns on your investment every monday at 9 a.m or as long as you play that household let me have mr johnny here go to his phone and show you how much money this family makes per week from their investments. Okay, so as you can see here, the family owns multiple properties in Monte Vista. Every town or world in The Sims 3 allows you to become partners and then eventually become a full owner of businesses, but it's not just the businesses, it's also properties. So you can become an owner of parks, graveyards, art museums, gyms, really any of those. And it can be a significant investment up front, of course, but the return that you get on your investment is well worth it. I would definitely recommend as soon as you start playing, if you have any disposable income, definitely invest that into properties. Initially, you'll have to become a partner and the cost to become a partner really varies from business to business, but it can be a few hundred simoleons for places like uh, a little cafe like the tasty treats and tomes usually it's going to cost about double or two and a half times more to become the full owner of that property and once you do that every monday at 9 a.m you're going to be able to go around the town like you can see me do here you click on the building and there's an option to collect the money for the businesses the option to collect is sort of out front in the ui interface but for some of the other properties like this one for example this is just a cafe it's not a business technically so initially Initially, it doesn't look like you can collect any money from it, but if you go down here to real estate, up here at the top is an option to collect simoleons. So this property alone nets us 25,000 simoleons per week, which is just amazing. So this family in particular makes almost 200,000 simoleons per week. The reality is because of this, they do not have to work. I still choose to have, you know, most of them work just because I like the gameplay that a job provides. But if you're playing like a legacy family, definitely invest in these properties around town because even though it can be a lot of money up front, the returns are well worth it. So just to give you a bit more insight into what exactly I mean by that. So here I have a family that is a partner in a couple businesses here in Monte Vista. So as you can see, there are these little icons with some stars next to the businesses that their partners in or that they own. So there are three stars for businesses that they are full owners of. So this family is full owner of the tasty treats and tomes, but they're just partners in the criminal enterprise and the theater. But yes, of course, 
the return that you get per week is based on the value of the property itself. Now, for properties that are not businesses, for these, you'll have to buy out the full property up front. An example would be this one, which is very expensive. It's 257,000 simoleons. Obviously, you're not gonna be able to afford that up front, but you can purchase the property once you do have enough money, and then you can receive your return on the investment weekly. It shows up every Monday at 9 a.m and it works exactly the same way. There's just no option to become a partner in some of the properties. I thought that you would only get the returns on businesses, but you can actually get returns on any property that you own, even something like a park. So if the family purchased this park, they would make a few thousand simoleons every week from that. And that's a really great deal. So Donatella here just became a partner at the spa. It says Donatella is now a partner at Slanciado Spa. She is now entitled to a share of the profits, which she can pick up weekly at the spa. If she bought out the other partners, she would get even more money and have additional control over the space. So once you become a full owner of a property or a business, you have the option to actually fire any sim who works there, which I never do personally, but if your enemy works at the business and you buy out the property, you can make them lose their job, which is sort of evil. But you know, if you have like an evil sim or if you feel really wronged by someone, that's an option. So you're gonna see here, the star is gonna turn from one into three now that she is a full owner owner of this property and I can click here and click fire sim and then I can select the sim that I want to fire. She's not going to fire her husband but I do want to fire this person. Jalissa, if you know this family, she has been causing problems for us since uh, our founder got married. Uh, we got a bone to pick with Miss Jalissa. We're going to go into the theater and we're going to fire her. Goodbye Jalissa. Goodbye Kyle. I swear to you I'm done with it. So it says, Donatello just fired Jalissa. It doesn't look like she's taking it well. So because we fired her, our relationship got a little bit bad. There's a little bit of red there, but uh, we're not like enemies or anything. It just affected our relationship negatively. Once you become an owner, you can also rename the property. So Donatella is going to go back into the theater and she's actually going to name it after her family. And it says, now that you own this building, you can rename it. Teatro is the Italian word for theater and the family's last name is Moretti. So we're renaming it to Moretti Teatro. After we've done this, you can go back into map mode and you can see here it is now called Moretti Teatro. That's just like another cool option that you have as a full owner of the building. You cannot do that with places that you're just a partner at. But once you become the full owner, you're free to fire sims and to rename the property as you wish. So there's a few more things I just want to mention about investing in properties. So first of all, there's actually a much easier way to collect your investments every week. Uh, instead of going into map view and clicking on each building, which could take a while, especially if you own multiple properties, it can take some time, right? So an easier way to collect your investments every week is just to go to your phone. You can also go to a computer, click check real estate. Really, I can just click on any of the businesses or the properties I own. And then down here, you have some options. You can sell the entire property, which of course I don't wanna do. You can also rename the properties from this menu as well. And I guess the easier way to collect your investments every week is to just click this little, it's like a little folder with the simoleon sign on it. I can just click that. I'm just gonna go down the list like this and I'm just gonna click that option for each one so I can collect all of this money. It doesn't close you out of the menu each time you collect simoleons. You can just go down your list. It's very simple. Of course, you're not going to be able to collect money from residential properties or vacation houses you own. Of course, that wouldn't make sense. If you own resorts, you can also collect money from this menu. So once I'm done with that, I'm just going to click the check mark and then voila, we got 177,000 simoleons. It took like less than a minute to do that. Another thing is, if you decide to move out of your town, you need to remember to sell all of your properties. I don't know what happens if you forget to sell the properties and then you move to a whole new world. I imagine that you might lose all of the money that you had invested. The game might recognize that you own those properties and give you the money that you invested back when you move, but um, I wouldn't wanna risk that. So I would definitely sell all of your properties if you do decide to move your family to a new world. The amount you get every week from your investment is gonna be the same, it's not gonna fluctuate it won't go up or down at all 
It will be the same every time. I think the only exception to that would be if you go into build or buy mode and you, you know, add something to the property. If you put money into it, then the value of that property will increase, which means your return on the investment will also increase. So that's just something to look out for. But uh, I think that's about it. Hopefully this video was helpful to some of you. For me, I think this is one of the smartest things that you can do with your money. If you do have disposable income, your Sims won't have to go into rabbit hole jobs. You don't have to feel the pressure to like pay bills. You can live a very comfortable lifestyle and it's great for legacy players. For example, most of these properties this family bought several generations ago. So we're still reaping the rewards every single week from those investments. So I really hope this video was helpful. Let me know in the comments below if you have any questions, concerns, if I forgot something, if you have suggestions, please let me know. Thank you all so much for watching and I will see you in the next video. Check the mic and make sure it sound right, boys.